Okay, so here's the state of the bead room. <laughs> here's the store. All my store stuff right here in this pile. Well, not the trash can, but here's all the store stuff and that right there. And then all this stuff down here is my own personal stuff that's got to go with me. I've got one table left up with all my lights on it, getting ready to film one last video. That's my Jesse James beads. That's my desk all taken apart, and look at the blank pegboard. Oh my goodness. So, this is the last video going to be filmed in the North Carolina bead room, and then we head for Florida in just a couple of days. So, it's all packed up. Crazy. Makes me anxious. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to get ready right now, film this video, and then get to packing all this stuff up because it's over for a few more days anyway. Bye. Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we are going to make a boho multi-strand necklace with all kinds of pretty teals and maroons and coppers. And um, yeah, this is my last project in my North Carolina bead room. So this is the stuff that I've got pulled out. You can probably hear an echo in the background a little bit because the room is packed up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this last little project and then all this is going in a big tub and it's going to travel with me to my in-laws house where guess what's waiting? My bargain bead box for March. <laughs> so everybody else has opened theirs up. I will be opening mine and doing projects from it because that and Sam's bead box is going to be waiting. So I'm so excited to get those and be able to do projects from them while I'm in transition to the new house because we have about a two week layover. Okay, so your encouraging word for today, I just uh, pulled this one out randomly out of the middle of the stack. You brighten my day. So I have to say you guys always do brighten my day. So this is one of my favorite, um, this is my full-time job and I enjoy it so much. So thank you all for helping allow me to be able to do what I love every day. So when you subscribe, when you give likes, when you do all that stuff, it helps me so much when you support my store. Um, it allows me to be able to keep doing this. So thank you, thank you. You brighten my day and I appreciate it. All right, so my inspiration for this necklace are these beautiful Mala prayer beads. Now these are made from yak bone, turquoise, and coral. Aren't they gorgeous? They're so, so beautiful. I just love the look of them. Um, I don't know exactly the history of prayer, you know, beads or whatever. I um, don't really subscribe to all of that, but I think they're beautiful. And we're going to make a necklace with them. So these are the inspiration. And then I pulled these out. These are cloisonne. Um, they are bronze. I don't know. I'll have to look them up. I got these from AliExpress and I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> they're cloisonne, some kind of cloisonne bead. Um, this is just a beautiful faceted deep teal colored um, glass bead from uh, dollarbead.com. Then I have, now these are the mala beads as well, but these have, um, instead of the turquoise and coral in them, they have just a line of like, um, I don't think they're, I don't know, it's like a metal. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. So see the difference? They're also beautiful though. We're going to use them. Um, and then I have these beads from Beadbox Bargains. I love these disc beads, these ripple disc beads. They're Czech glass. I think they're so cool. We're going to be using them. We're going to combine them with these ripple spacer beads from my website. Now my website is not um, accepting orders right now. Um, it's just for a few days. Um, once I get to my in-laws house and I have my two week layover, I'm going to open it back up because I can do orders from their house. But just until um, we get down there, it's just too hard to try to pack and do orders all at the same time. So these are on my website and it will be back up in a few days. You can get on there and look right now. You can put things in your cart. You can whatever. Just please don't check out because <laughs> everything's packed. Now, if you want to check out and then wait for me to ship it, that's fine. I don't mind that one bit, but just know that as of today, which is 
I don't know, March something, March 12th maybe or 13th. I don't know. But anyway, as of today, um, it won't ship out until at least after Saturday. So Saturday is the 19th, I think. And we are going to Florida on Saturday. So Sunday, you know, I can ship again, but just for those few days. So it won't ship out right away. I usually ship next day and it wouldn't ship next day. But, um, you know, if you want to place an order, you're welcome to do it. Um, just know that it'll be a few days before it ships out. That's no problem. I don't mind that one bit. Okay. We've got these, um, really beautiful sparkly rondelles. Look at these. Oh, these are so pretty. I got these from AliExpress as well. I love these. Okay, so I'm going to dump them out up here. And then these are from um, Beadbox Bargains, too. And aren't they pretty? They have like a champagne shimmer kind of thing going on. So we're going to use them. So here are our beads. Now, this is a Design With Me bracelet or necklace, okay? So if you're not one of those people that wants to hear me talk and hear my thought process and all that, this is not the video for you. These are little 4 millimeter pearls in a really pretty red. We're going to be using some of them. Um... So yeah, if you don't like the design with me process, then this is not the video for you. I'll just warn you ahead of time <laughs> because it, it's thinking, it, it shows um, my process and how I put things together and it's going to be a longer video and that's just what we're doing today. So um, alrighty, so I've got a clasp, I have a lobster clasp, I have a little bit of red copper chain going on here. I have a few red copper spacer beads. Now these are fire polish four millimeter and these are just red copper round metal beads. I'm just gonna mix them in cause that's all I have. I couldn't find any more. I don't know where they're, they're packed away, I guess. Um, I have some bead caps, these little five petal bead caps. These are on my website too. Um, I have a couple of rings. These are just regular closed rings. And I'd say they are six, yeah, they're 16 millimeter. Okay, I've got some clamshell connectors. I'm going to be doing a four strand, I think. So I've got, do I have eight out here? I should. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I do. I have eight. All right, so clamshell connectors and some crimps, crimp beads right here. Um, some eye pins. Here they are. And I think that's everything. Jump rings. You're going to need some jump rings. And of course, your jewelry tools. So let's go get into it. So what I want to do, I want to do four, I want to do a four strand. I'm going to put these metals back here because we're not going to be using them. Oh, and you're going to need um, stringing wire, tiger tail. <laughs> Duh, where did it go? I had it out here. Eh, let me grab it. It was out here and... Like I said, everything's kind of a mess, so it has gotten put somewhere. Oh, geez, where did I put it? Huh, I had a whole thing of string wire. Oh, I found it. Sorry, guys. I really am not very organized. Here it is. It was in another tub. There's so many tubs. I can't keep track of where everything is. Okay. So, my, let's see. My top strand, I think I'm going to do, I'm debating. I don't know if I want to do these guys on my top strand as the focal or if I want to do them. I think I'm going to do them on my second strand. I want to do a lot of the tinier beads on my top strand and then some of these on the bottom. And I don't want to put these right next to this because this is definitely more of a turquoise than this teal. So I kind of want them to be spaced a little out. So maybe like this. Okay. So let's go ahead and work on the very top strand, which is going to be a lot of these tiny beads. And I just wanted one strand of a bunch of the smaller beads. So this is what we've got. We've got some beautiful sparkle here, okay? And I'm not gonna use the bead caps. I'm gonna use some of these spacers on this part. So for this part, let me grab my ruler. I do see it up here. <laughs> okay. Um, let's look at the tiger tail and let me scoot these up a little. See how I wanna measure this out. Get these out of the way because they're going on a different strand. Okay. Alrighty. So here we have 
the ruler. Where'd the tiger tail go? Here it is. Okay. This is like, uh, I don't even know this, this spool is not marked. I think this is like 19 strand tiger tail. And I think I want my first one to be about 10 inches. I'm probably going to cut it about 11 just to be safe. Okay, so just take your cutters and cut it about 11 inches. And then the next couple of strands we're going to make longer. But um, that first one, I want it to be a little bit shorter. So I'm going to grab a bead bug. And I'm going to uh, snap that on there. And then we're just going to start stringing. So I'm going to start out with a couple of these small, well, one of them. And I'm just going to kind of randomly string these on. I'm not going to do any sort of pattern. I just like these colors together. I think they're beautiful. And I just want to... Just make it random so look at these disc beads they are so pretty i love the teals and the red together so gorgeous so again just randomly stringing this on put a couple of the or a spacer bead or two in here i just want to bring the copper up you know from the other strands are going to have the copper head pins and um, eye pins. I'm probably going to do a strand of eye pin, um, eye pin connections or, you know, uh, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> um, so I just want to, you know, there's going to be a lot of copper in the lower strand. So I want to go ahead and bring some up into this strand by using just these little spacers. But no rhyme or reason, no pattern, just random. And I like that. I like random. So, there we go. Um, anybody that lives in Florida, if you are interested in getting together with me sometime, um, please send me an email. I, um, my email is Wendy Jill, W-E-N-D-Y, J-I-L-L-1974 at Gmail, and I really, um, we're going to be in Central Florida, Deltona, not Daytona, everybody's like, oh, Daytona, no, uh, we're very close to Daytona, we are only 30 minutes, about 30 minutes from there, but the town that we're living in is called Deltona, but it is central Florida. And so I would really, really like to be able to get together with some people. I know so many of you live in Florida. Um, and so email me, please, please email me if you're interested in getting together. There is a store in Orlando that I love to visit when I go down there. It's called Bead Time. And I could meet up with some people there. Or, um, I don't, anywhere, <laughs> McDonald's, I mean, I don't care, but I just think it would be fun to get together. So, if you're interested in doing that and you live in Florida, and I don't even mind to drive, I mean, um, you know, I'll drive somewhere, meet you halfway if you're like in Jacksonville, which is a couple hours from us, I mean, you know, I don't mind driving at all. So, I just thought that would be really fun to kind of get together with people and with like interest in beating <laughs> and hang out. All right, this is looking good. Look, aren't those colors beautiful? I kind of wanted to mix some yellow in too, but my... Uh, beads here didn't have any yellow and I was just like well I don't want to make it too crazy and then I thought I've done several things lately with um, yellow these exact same colors and yellow so I was like well maybe I better not do it on this one because I don't want all, everything to look the same <laughs> but this is pretty these um, pearls are kind of they give a little sparkle and I'm really liking the way this is looking. So let's put a pearl here. Um, I've got a little bit more. When we finish this, these strands, 
We're just going to use the lobster and the crimps, so we don't have to worry about saving room really to bend it over and all that. We're just basically going to stick the lobster and the, or not lobster, the clamshell and the crimp right on the end. So we can bead right up to the end pretty much. So that's kind of nice about finishing it that way. All right, so here we have it, and I'll show you what I mean. Take your lobster, or your, goodness, your clamshell. I call those lobsters all the time. Put your crimp bead on. Now the crimp bead just needs to go on the very end. Let me find my pliers. And you don't have to crimp this, like do the divot hole, you know, all that kind of thing. This is basically just holding your clamshell on. So just put it on the end of your wire and crimp it down. And you do need to do it kind of tight. You know, you don't want it to come off, but um, I've never had any problem with it. So pull on it. It's secure. You could even stick some glue in there if you wanted to. Some GS Hypo Cement or some E6000 if you wanted to. And just make sure that you've got your clamshell closed up really good. And that's the one end. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the other end. And because there's no pattern here, really, it's just kind of beading. You can... Um, you didn't really have to worry about making sure that it ends the same or, you know, anything like that. So I'm just beating it up. Just going to beat all the way to the end. Let's get another pearl on. Let's see. Let's get another sparkly rondelle. Um, one more pearl. One more sparkly rondelle. And that's probably good. We probably need to, oh, I might be able to stick one more on. Let's do this one. Okay, then we're going to put our clam on. Now, you can grab your clam shell, or you can grab your tiger tail with your pliers here. And just kind of pull it up there. Hold it in place like this. Stick your crimp on. Now, this one, you want to make sure you scoot your crimp down a little and crimp it. Just so there's not um, extra wire. You don't want your beads flopping around too much. Okay. And then close up that clamshell. And that's our first strand right there. It's pretty. Now, I'm going to set these beads aside because we may use them a little bit down in the other strands too. But I just wanted a whole strand of these smaller beads. Now let's work on this strand that's going to have these focals on it. Okay. So this one needs to be a tad longer than this one. So let's measure. If this one is, it's right around 11, a little bit longer. I'm going to go probably 13 with this one. So there's, oops, I moved my ruler, didn't I? There's 12. Let's give it one more. We'll go 13 inches with this one. Okay. Now, with this one, I'm going to bead from both sides. And I'm probably, probably going to do a pattern here. Okay. So I'm not going to put any closure on either side yet. Um, and I kind of need to decide how. I know I want to use these in here in this middle strand. And I want to use these. Okay. And I may pull in some of the pearls, not sure. Probably not. I think I'm just going to stick with these. So I'm going to start in the very middle with one of my beads that has the turquoise and the coral in it. And then I'm going to do these. Now, if you can see these are curved, I'm curving, putting the curve toward the bead on both sides here. Okay? So curving it toward the bead. And then I'm going to put on one of these on each side. One of these uh, ripple beads. Okay. And then I'm going to curve away from the ripple bead with one of these. So just like that. Now I'm going to put on my next two beads. I'm going to do one of these with the metal line down the middle on each side. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm curving toward the the um yak bone bead and then I'm putting on my ripple 
Why aren't you going on? Your hole is stopped up. Okay, let's get a different one. Putting on the ripple bead. Just like this. It's not as easy as you would think. <laughs> I don't know. Some of them have paint in the hole. And then I am curving away from the ripple bead with my spacer. Okay. So just like that. And then I'm putting on two more. I'm using the ones with the turquoise and the coral inlay. I am curving toward the bead and toward the bead. And you can do this however you want, obviously. This is just the way I wanted to do it. It's totally up to your own creative control. If you want to do it different, by all means, do it different. It is your necklace, okay? So like that, curving away from the ripple bead on both sides. Our next two beads are the ones with the little chain or whatever that is embedded in them and curving toward the bead on both sides, doing a ripple. Go on there, please. Thank you. And curving away. Okay, two more of these guys, and look at that, I've got one left, <laughs> one lonely one. <laughs> okay, um, and we're going to curve towards it, is that right? Yes, towards it. Ripple bead, ripple bead. Oh, come on, get on there, okay? And then curving away. Now, I don't want to put that last one on because it's going to make it uneven if I do. You know, because this one's in the middle and then we've got sets of twos all the way out. And if I put one more on either end, it's going to make it very uneven. So, I kind of have to decide what I want to do here. And I kind of want to put... The, some of the red pearls in, but let's look at this. So let's lay this right here. This is going to go below it. I can't decide if I really want that to go below it. I think I do. Um, and it's just going to hang a slight bit longer, so it'll be right below. So what do I want to do here? I don't want to clutter it. You know, I don't want it to look too crazy. But I do want it to maintain the color scheme. Let's see what it looks like if I put a few pearls. Two. Let's see what it looks if I do like three pearls in a ripple bead. Let me do the other side and just see. And this is what I mean by a design with me video. I am figuring it out as I go. I haven't made this necklace before. So I'm just figuring it out as I go. Some people really like that. Some people really hate it. <laughs> okay. Um, that may work. Let's, let's try. And these pearls... They're not the best quality. They have some missing paint on them and on the just on the edge. You can't really see it once they're strung, but do I like that or not? It's just a little bit it's too busy. I don't care for it. So let's take this off and figure out what do we want to do? What can I do to make the rest of this? I could hook it to the chain. I could put chain right here, hook the chain on right here. You know what? I may do that. I think that might look good. Okay, so let's take our clamshell and our crimp. Actually, let's do a little spacer bead on either end just for to give it a little finished look, a little bit more of a finished look. Let's do that. Let's do a spacer 
I only have a few of these left, so let's just do one on each end. Okay, now clamshell and our crimp. I'm just grab my pliers here. I'm gonna pull this up to the end. Whoops, and crimp it down. And again, I'm just flattening it. I'm not crimping it like. And the reason that it's okay to do this. <laughs> is your wire is not bending over and coming back around and needing to crimp to itself like double when we, you know, we normally do that. So it's okay to do it this way uh, when you're not needing to have a loop on the end or a wire protector or anything like that. All right, I'm taking this one. I let gravity do this work here. I don't pull it tight. I just kind of let it hang because you don't want it to be poker stick straight or it's going to look weird. It's going to hang funny, but you don't want it to be, um, you know, you don't want your beads flopping around on there either. So I'm going to tuck that, cut that, I mean, and close this. All right, and then let's take a look. I think when we connect this to the chain, it's going to make, it's just, it makes this the focal. It would have been too much with anything else. So I think we're going to be good there. So there's our second strand. And I could even do it up here if I decide, because I'm really kind of liking this on the top. I wanted it on the bottom, but <laughs> I don't know if I did or not. We'll see how it looks when we get the other strands added on. Okay, so separating out my beads here, because we're going to pull in, we're going to pull these in now. Okay. So, we've got our strands. Let's see what we want to do next. Let me cut these off their strings. These are so pretty. So, so pretty. So, I've got these Coisonne beads. And I've got these really pretty, just glass faceted beads. Okay. just get these off okay now let's look what do we want to do okay so if I keep it like this and I can put some of these down here do I want to mix them probably at least a little I do want to pull in some some of these bead caps I know that can't decide if I want this to be like this. I think I like it better like this. I keep going back to this. So for this strand, um, I'm going to do the 13 inches because we changed our other one and made it smaller. So I'm going to do another probably 13 inch strand here. Okay. And let's see what we want to do here. So I know I want to use the bead caps. And I know that I want to put in some of the turquoise, but not a lot of it on this strand. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I believe, is start with a turquoise bead. Well, let's start in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put one of these in the middle. I am going to put a bead cap facing it on each side. Nope, I did that wrong, didn't I? I did that facing away. I want to do that facing the bead. Whoops. I like to start from the middle and work my way out a lot of times. I, it just seems to make it easier for me to get the design right. So here's what we have. Now, I want to use these in here, but I don't want to use them so, so heavy. And I may even throw those two in somewhere just to bring some consistency in here. So, I think I'm going to do another bead on each side. Not with bead caps, so just like that. Okay, and then a rondelle. Just like this. And I'm just putting it on, going to look at it and decide if I don't like it, 
then I'll take it off. It's no big deal. But I do like the way that, that that's looking. And again, I may pull this up here and this down here. I, I've got yet to decide that. Okay. So let's repeat. Let's do um, a bead cap, a bead, and another bead cap on each side. So bead cap, bead, bead cap on each side. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to do just a plain bead on each side. So I'm doing a lot of the red on this layer and just pulling in a tad bit of these others. And I'm going to do the red, the uh, greenish one next. I've only got two of these left. So I'll go ahead and put one on each side like that. And then I'm going to, let's see, what do I want to do? You know what? Hmm. Let me think a second. Actually, I'm going to change this just a bit. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to keep this pattern that I've got in the middle. So I know this seems like a minor thing and you're probably like why, but I'm going to do a regular bead without the bead caps. And then I'm going to do the bead caps and then another regular. I just want to keep this little pattern. I want to make it um, consistent. So now we'll do the bead cap, the bead and the bead cap and another bead on each side and see that's going to keep that little pattern so we'll do the bead cap the bead and the bead cap on the other side and then another bead so here's what we have I'll, i think that looks better then i'm going to do the green where'd my other one go there it is Then we're going to repeat that pattern again. So bead, a lone bead without the bead caps. Now, bead cap, bead, bead cap, and one more lone bead. Yeah, I like that. That's going to be good. Okay, lone beads. We've got bead cap, bead. And another bead cap and another single bead okay and then I'm gonna do the sparkly rondelles and that's what this strand is going to look like so if we put them together I still have yet to decide how I want to do it how I want to lay them out can't decide if I want to do this. Just don't know yet. Okay, so let's repeat this one more time. So we've got a bead on each side. Then we've got a bead cap, a bead, and a bead cap, and another bead. Okay, so over here we need a bead cap, a bead, and a bead cap, and another bead, just like that, and then a sparkly rondelle. Now, do I have enough room to repeat it again, or not? I think I do. Do I have enough bead caps? Eh, I may not. Let me see if I have some more in here. I need, what, two more? Let me dump these out. I know I have some antique bronze ones in here. I don't really want to use them. <laughs> They're not going to match as well. I think I pulled them all out, actually. I don't know that I have any more in this thing. This is just random extras that I've picked up and put in here just kind of 
um, that were either on the floor or parts of other projects. I don't seem to have any more in here. I have some different ones, but I don't really want to use different ones. Here's these. Those two were kind of cute, but that's going to be weird if I do it all one way and then try to poke in different. Okay. Man, just two more. That's all I need. <laughs> don't you hate that when you're like, it's so within reach, yet so far away. Okay, there's those two. I do have one more container here that I can check in. It might have a couple. I doubt it, but it could. Because I accidentally one day threw a bunch of my metals like this into my um, clamshell connector container. <laughs> so it's possible. Whoops, I'm dropping beads. It's possible there could be two more in here. I don't think there are. I think I pulled them all out, but can't hurt to look real quick. And no, I don't see any more. Oh, wait, there's one. Okay, just one more. Oh my gosh. Can we do it? Is there one more in here? Yes, there is. Okay, so good. So good. Love it when a thing comes together like it's supposed to. All right, let me make sure I don't pick them back up. And that was accidental one day. I, I just accidentally dumped those in the wrong container. Look, there's another copper spacer bead too. Eh, that gives us two more of those. Yay, okay. There's a big truck outside. I don't know what it's doing. Or maybe it's Chris on the motorcycle. Actually, I think it's Chris on the motorcycle. No, it's not, definitely not Chris on the motorcycle. It's a big truck or something. Okay, all right, so here we are. Whoops, this needs to go in there. It's a teeny tiny little, okay. So here we are, and we need to do one more um, repeating pattern of this. So let's do bead. I can't believe I found enough of these. Um, bead cap, bead, bead cap, and one more bead. Just like that. Let's do the other side. I'm going to throw a bead bug on here just so they don't all fall off. I'm losing beads in the floor, too. <laughs> um, okay, bead here. And then a bead cap, a bead, and a bead cap. Oops. And another bead. And then I definitely want to do the sparkly rondelle on either end. Now, I definitely do not have enough room for another section of it. But I probably am going to add a couple of these rondelles and end it with a copper spacer bead, just like that. Okay? And you don't have to. It's totally up to your own creative control. I just like the way that it makes it look kind of finished. Whoops. Get on there. Okay. And I could actually add one more of the sparkly rondelles if I wanted to, just to have the full length of this, and I probably will go ahead and do that on this side. Add my spacer. <laughs> and then go ahead and put this clamshell on. So I'm going to put my clamshell on just like we've been doing. And crimp this down. And hopefully my beads aren't all falling off the other end. There we go. Close it up. There we go. All right, one more rondelle over here. I'm sorry, the camera keeps like changing colors for some reason. It's weird. My camera is so weird with blues. Like if I put teal or blue in the frame, it wants to change the whole. And... There's a guy that taught me the reason for that, but I can't remember now. It's got something to do with the yellow balance, white balance or yellow balance or something. Okay, and again, just letting gravity do the work, making sure that my beads are all down and together, but yet I'm not um, going to cram them on really tight because I don't want them to be stick straight. That looks weird. If you see a necklace that's like all poked out, <laughs> you know, it doesn't have any movement. It's just weird. Don't do that. Okay, closing this up. 
And there's our next layer. Okay. Love these colors together. All right, now for this last one, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some connectors. We're gonna use these teals down here and probably mix in a few of the pearls because we need to bring that down. And maybe, uh, I think if I do that, it's gonna be too much. So we may put in some of these sparkly rondelles because they're pretty close to this color and a few of the pearls. So let me see how, how I might wanna do this. So I've got my teal bead. I don't want to make it too busy. If I make it too busy, it's going to kind of compete with this strand, and I don't want it to do that. Um, so I just want it to be kind of simple. So I think I might do, let's see, look here. Let's see what this would look like. If I did a bunch of links. And then this one, and this one. So I think I might do this in the middle. So let me make a, a loop here. I'm not going to do wrapped loops because um, I don't really have a lot left. And these are eye pins, so the other end's not wrapped anyway. Um, I'm just going to do regular old loops. Let me pull this back here. So that would be the middle piece. And then, let's see. I don't want to do the same thing the whole way around. I want to do this about every other one. So for the middle one, I do have some of these left too. Do I want to pull them in? Do I want to do like... See if this works good. I'm just gonna put it on here for a minute. Experiment. See, I don't have a lot of those left either. So I would have enough to do here. Then I would do these links again. I would probably need more of these. And I don't know if I have any more of them in here either. Don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think I have any more of these. I think I used, I pulled them all out. Well, there's one. <laughs> I think this one's antique bronze. I think it is. That's the trouble with these. I have a hard time telling them, telling the antique bronze from the copper. They're so, so close. Um, but yeah, I think I just have the one more copper one left, which gives me an odd number, so that's not going to help me. I do have these over in my store stuff. I could go pull them out if I had to, but is that one? That one's antique copper, I think. <laughs> okay, maybe. Can't really tell. I think it is. Okay, so I could do, okay, so let's look at this. So there's those. Let's do another one of these. So we'll do our pearl. Sparkly rondelle, teal bead. Sparkly rondelle and pearl here. Same thing on this side. Pearl, sparkly rondelle, teal bead, sparkly rondelle. Pearl. So as you can see, I'm just kind of pulling in some of the reds. I don't want to make it as busy as this strand. I may still put this strand up there. I can't decide what I want to do with that. I have to wait till I get see that. Might, I want it to be very boho looking, and I, I like this boho style. So let's do okay. So then we will be back to our regular one. I can't tell if that's antique bronze or not. And you know, honestly, if I can't tell right here, then probably nobody's going to be able to tell if I put it on the 
<laughs> on the necklace, really. I mean, I'm going to be wearing it, so it's not like anybody else is really going to examine it that closely. <laughs> so it's probably okay if I just go ahead with it. So let's see here. Um, what's our next pattern? This one, the wavy bead, whoops, facing the teal bead, the teal bead, wavy bead facing the teal bead, and this rondelle. Okay, so there's that. So then we would have the rondelle. Okay. And I do have two more of those left, but I would need two more to do another set. And I definitely don't have two more. I'm sitting here looking and I do not. Okay, so then we're going to need one more set of these guys. So we've got pearl. Come on, pearl. Get on there. I don't want to. Must be a fatter head pin or something. <laughs> or a fatter eye pin. Okay, here we go. Pearl. Rondelle. Teal bead. Rondelle. And a pearl. A pearl. Oh goodness gracious, get on there, please. Isn't that funny? Some of them went on so easily. Now I'm having issues. There we go. Pearl. Rondell. Teal bead. Rondell. And another pearl. Okay. So there's that. Now, let's look at it. Because I don't have any more of these. And I could actually put chain on this one too. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's do this. Let's move these out of the way for a minute. And you know what? I could actually make something with this guy right here in the middle since I just have the one left. That might be kind of cool. I'd kind of like to use him because he's the only one left. What could I do with him in the middle? Oh, okay. Let's let's do this. This might be kind of cool. Um, so there's Chris on the motorcycle. Um Let's put him on, this guy on. I don't have enough to room on this eye pin to do one, the rondelle on the end. So let's just try this. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. I like kind of bringing that down there. Now, I don't have anything that to do with these on the bottom, but I think that's okay. I mean... They're kind of big, so we don't want to we don't want to make it too crazy. All right, so let's hook these together. So we're going to make our little loops and just see um, how long this ends up being. First of all, so we're just going to roll our loops back, and I may hook these together with jump rings. We'll see here. Why did I pick him like randomly out of the middle and not start on the end? That would have made so much more sense. Okay. And I'm actually just going to decide. I don't even know what order I want to put these strands in now. I thought I knew what I was wanting to do, but I think I may have totally changed the whole thing up and may just switch it around. So we'll see. And with this one being links and this one we're going to finish with chain, we really um, can do that if we want to just switch it up. I'm sorry if I was out of frame. I think I might have been. I apologize. 
since I haven't been for this whole video. <laughs> it's hard sometimes to stay in there, and I um, don't have my normal filming set up here. It's a little bit messed up because of the move and everything packed. I'm, I'm down to one table, which has all my lights on it, <laughs> but it's like really crowded. <laughs> so, making it a little hard right now. Did that one. All right, here we go. And one more. And then we'll put this thing together. And it won't take very long to put it together. All right. There we go. So there we have it. Let's move all this out of the way and get our chain over here. All right. Now, I'm going to hook them together with jump rings. Just because it makes things lay a little bit better. And, um have some movement and flow a little. It's just not quite so tight and bound up. And the jump rings I'm using are very small. These are like five millimeter uh, jump rings. So I think that they'll work the best for this because they're tiny. So I'm just gonna hook this strand together with these jump rings right here. So here's our middle. We're doing one of the red pearl ones on this side of it. Is that right? Please tell me I didn't mess that up. Okay, no, I didn't. All right, making sure. <laughs> Make sure all your loops are closed. Like I see a loop here that's not closed up very good, which won't be very good for keeping my necklace from falling apart. All right, let's hook this other guy on. I love the boho style. Now Chris is starting the other <laughs> motorcycle. I don't know what it is. It's like, I'm gonna go film a video, honey. Okay, let me go do the loudest possible thing that I can think to do <laughs> while you're filming. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Some days I'm like, why? 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 But I don't know. <laughs> He's been downstairs quiet all morning on his computer and I decided to film a video. And like, Let's go start all the motorcycles up. <laughs> Just cracks me up. All right. Let's do this red one. Okay, this is really, the colors are so gorgeous. But we got to decide what order that we want to put these in. I'm not sure yet. Okay, a couple more. Okay, making sure all that the all of the loops are closed and let's put this last one on. All right. Now. There we have it. All right. How do we want to do it? 
So this is definitely our longest strand. It could go on the bottom. Uh, this one is very close though. Do I just want to do it like this? Just layer them all up lengthwise or do I want to do this? I'm just kind of experimenting to see what looks the best. Hmm. And this one's going to have some chain. I don't know, guys. I'm having a hard time figuring out how I want this to look. I don't really like that one on the bottom. I have figured that much out. I really kind of like it on the top, I think. So I think we might do it like this and see how this turns out. So we've got our little... Um, Got our little loops here, or whatever those are, um, rings. <laughs> and we're going to just hook them, hook everything onto the rings with jump ring. So grab a couple of little bigger jump rings. Um, these are like eight millimeter that I'm going to use for this because it needs to be able to go around the ring and everything. And um, it kind of adds to the boho look, I think. This part will. Normally, I like to use smaller jump rings, but I think this will look good. So we're going to put, I think I'm going to put this red one on the bottom. Just going to hook them right on. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. And you want to make sure, unless you want everything crossed and twisted, that you um, keep this one on the bottom. Now you could like braid them together. That would be kind of cool looking. I mean, just to have them kind of all, you know, doing this kind of thing. That actually would not look bad at all. But I think I'm just going to leave mine regular. Okay. And then I'm going to do this strand. So here's our... Our, um, ring and if you need to add a couple of jump rings to make it long enough or you know if it's this one if you need to add a couple jump rings you could but I think that this is gonna work we'll see when we pick it up I could always add one on if I needed to okay. gonna add put this on the other side Yeah, that's going to hang pretty. That's good. Okay, now this one, do I want it to go here or do I want this one to go here? I think I may do it like that, actually. I wasn't thinking I was going to, but I think I like it like that. So let's put this guy next. I just want the slide out. Don't do that. Okay. Close it up. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, I like that. And then we're going to do this guy, and we're just going to add a little chain onto him. So, not a lot. It won't take a lot to do it. Probably about, do these open? Yes. <laughs> That's a good thing. Actually, I'm going to go one more. They are stiff links. Okay. So what do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine links. We'll try it and see. Whoops. And 
a lot of this stuff is trial and error. You just have to sometimes put it together and see how you like it. And if you don't like it, take it apart. Um, I've done that so, so many times. But it's necessary sometimes. Now this thick jump ring may not. Let me make sure this is together. This thick jump ring may not go through this little hole. I think it's just barely going to fit in there. And I don't know. I may connect it. Yeah, I'm going to connect that with a jump ring just so it... So I'm going to take this link off. If I'm going to connect it with a jump ring, I'm going to take that link off so it's not um, too long. Let me make sure I've got this right here. Something's twisting up here. You want to make sure that you don't get them out of order. And somehow, how in the world did I get that out? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, how did I get that out of order? I didn't, actually. It was just laying weird. Okay, then this one comes around. All right, so yeah, I'm just going to hook it on with a jump ring because that little um, clamshell connector hole is tiny. So I'm just going to find a tiny jump ring, like my little 5 millimeter ones here, and hook it on with that because I don't want to add a lot of extra length to it or anything. That way it'll fit comfortably through this little hole. I probably could have made it go through there, but it would have been, it would have made it tight. I don't want that. Okay. So let's get that right. There we go. All right. Same thing on the other side. How many links did I end up with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight links. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number eight here. Okay. I'm going to hook it right on on top of this one. And then take a jump ring and put this right on. There we go. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. What's messed up here? Why are you around there? Wait a minute. Did I not get those on correctly? Did I get that one on underneath there? How did I do that? I sure did. Let me fix this. <laughs> Thought I was being so careful. All right, let's get on under there where you belong. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it is really pretty. I like it. Okay, so now what you have to decide is you have to decide how long you want this to hang on you. I like these kind of necklaces to hang up pretty far, close to my collarbone. So usually for those, I like the total necklace to be about 24 inches. So let's see. I'm just going to lay this like this, kind of measure from here to the bottom that's about six inches so if I go six more inches up with chain on each side that's going to be 24 inches so let's measure six inches of chain which is right here okay so I'm going to take this I'm actually going to go up a couple lengths because I do want this one to be kind of short I don't want it to be super long um, so how many I think I ended up with about five and a half so that's probably good five and a half I'm gonna go ahead and hook this lobster on here while I have this piece open <laughs> just because okay and then I'm gonna measure the same amount of links I found it easier just to lay it beside the other one and measure links 
I'm going to go down one so the lobster has one to hook on to. Nope, this is the one with my lobster. What am I thinking? Go back up. That's okay. All right, and then I'm going to hook this one on one side. These links are a little bit tough to open. Okay, just like this. This on the other side. Just like this. All right, and there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the colors. Love these beads. There it is. Wow, it's very pretty. And you could put a dangle here if you wanted to, just like a little tiny bead dangle. I don't think I'm going to. But let me go ahead. I think I'm actually going to put this one on. My shirt's not very good for modeling necklaces, but it's a t-shirt, but... I want to see how it fits on. I'll be right back. Okay, so not the best shirt for <laughs> modeling a necklace. It's my, um, what is this, salty water t-shirt. But um, in this necklace, Chris got me for Valentine's Day. It's his birthstone and mine in our name. So let me move this to the back. So, okay, but I like this so much. Look how sparkly it is. <laughs> my goodness. I didn't realize it had so much sparkle in it, but I love the colors. This is the length I like for a necklace like this. It could actually even be shorter and I would be okay, but I could adjust it because of the chain we used. So this is what it looks like. I think it turned out super pretty. I really like it. I like how these kind of overlap here. These, you know, they just kind of hang, but it really showcases these beads. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. It'd be really pretty with a better shirt. <laughs> um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, it's completely free to do so. Um, and it really helps me on YouTube. So um, this is my full-time job now. This is what I do every day for a living. And I'm trying to put out more videos. It's been kind of slow lately because of the move. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. I'll put a link to my store in the description box below. And like I said, um, you can get on there and shop. But things won't ship for a few days. But it's going to be back up and running um, at the latest by March 31st. But probably by this coming week. So, all right, guys, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.